Hi Bobcats, this is Miss Lee, and today we're going to talk about histograms. A histogram is a type of bar graph that is used to represent numerical data that have been organized into equal intervals. These intervals allow you to see the frequency or distribution of the data or how many pieces of data or are in each interval. This is an example of a histogram. The scale of a histogram includes all the numbers that are in the data set. So you can see the intervals. We have an interval of $25 to $49.99. We have another interval, an interval of $50 to $74.99 and so on. You'll notice that there are no spaces between the bars. With a regular bar graph, the bars are skinnier and they don't touch. With a histogram, the bars are wider because it includes everything in the interval. It includes everything that is $25 through $49.99. This bar includes everything that is $50 to $74.99. All intervals are equal, so the bars are the same width. You'll look and you'll notice that all the intervals are equal. They're the same amount. One isn't $5 and one is $10. They're all equal amounts. Intervals that have a frequency of zero have a bar height of zero. So this looks like it's actually a gap. What this means is that there are no airplanes that cost between $125 and $149.99. So no bar is drawn for this interval. OK, so with a histogram, you can also answer other questions. How many remote control airplanes cost at least $100? Well, at least $100, think about your inequalities, it means that it could be greater than or equal to $100. So looking at my intervals, I see that my $100 starts with this interval right here. So it's going to include this interval, which is two planes, as well as the next interval, which is zero planes, and the last interval, which has one plane. So how many remote controls are there that are at least $100? Three. How many remote control airplanes cost less than $75? Well, here is where the $75 start, but we need it to be less than $75, which means it would be these first two intervals. So we have nine at the first interval, and we have seven. Nine plus seven is 16 airplanes. How many remote control airplanes cost between $125 and $175? Let me change my color here. 125 starts right here. And here is the 175, so it would be these two intervals, and there is only one airplane. Got some more questions. In which interval would the median of the data fall? Well, ask yourself again, what does the median mean? It means the middle. Where's the middle of our data? Well, you can cross it off. You can see that there are nine that fall between the $25 and the $49.99 range. There are seven that fall between the $50 and $74.99 range. And then we have one, two, and one. So if we go through and we want to find the middle, we can add these up and say, okay, nine plus seven is 16 plus one is 17, 18, 19, there's a total of 20. So if I divide that by two, it's going to equal 10. So we want to find the middle half. So we need 10 in the lower half of the data, which would be the nine for the first bar and one for the second bar. So this whole section here would be the lower half of the data. And the upper half of the data would be another 10 which would be three plus one is four. Come up here, 
the six would make 10. So you could see, whoops, there we go, that the middle of the data is gonna fall between these two. And which column is that? Which interval is that? That's the $50, $50 to $74.99. So you're going to do the same thing as you would with a bar graph. The only difference is instead of it being one specific amount or one specific price, it's going to be an interval of prices. Describe the shape of the distribution. Are there any gaps? Okay, so let me go ahead and erase everything that I've drawn on here just to make it a little bit easier to work with. And we do, see, we do know there's a gap. There's a gap right here at $125 to $149 because there is no data. So there is a gap. And if I draw my outline, you could see that my tail is going to the right. So this isn't a symmetric graph. This is going to be one that is skewed to the right. Skewed right. And then there is a gap at 125 to 149.99. Is there a peak? Yeah, the tallest bar is at the $25 to 49.99. So you could say there's a peak at the $25 to 49.99 interval. What percentage of the planes cost $75 or greater? Okay. We need to figure out how many planes cost $75 or greater. So here's my $75. So I want to include all of these bars. So we have one plane for this interval, two planes, one plane. So it's a total of four planes. And we know that percent's out of 100. So is this four out of 100? I'll look up here. Do we have 100 total planes that we're talking about? No. They're in fact only 20 because we already added them up. So it's 40, I'm sorry, 4 out of 20. Okay, so to turn this into a percent, we need to make this 20 into 100 because percent's always out of 100. Scale factor times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. Now that we have a number out of 100, that number is your percent. So 20% of the planes cost $75 or greater. Okay, so we have another one, another histogram. This one says that a government program plants small trees in parks. The histogram shows the number of trees planted in 48 different parks. Look at your intervals from 0 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, etc. So what I'd like for you to do is to answer each question individually, answer the question, like pause the video, answer it, and then come back and check your answer. The first question. What is the difference in the number of parks that have the most trees planted and the least trees planted? So go ahead, pause the video, find your answer, then come back and check. Okay, we want to know the most trees and the least number of trees. So the most is the mode. It's our peak, the tallest bar that you see on the histogram. And in this case, it's going to be 15. Halfway between 14 and 16 would be 15. Then the least is going to be the smallest bar, which is this interval, the very right, the 50 to 59 interval, and there are only two trees. So the difference means to subtract. 15 minus 2 would be 13 trees. Okay, next question. When what interval would the median of the data fall? and what interval would the median of the data fall? Go ahead and pause the video, come back and check your answer. Okay, the median is the middle. We know that there are 48 different parks that we're talking about, so we can divide this 48 by two because we want to split our data into half, and that's going to give us 24. So the middle is going to, and there's nothing left over, so the middle will be, 
around the 24th park. So we have nine parks here. I'm sorry, we don't have nine parks. We have seven parks. Here we have three parks, so that's 10. We have 12 right here, so that's 22 parks, which means the 24th park would lie in this interval right here. And you can go backwards, start from the high. We have two parks and 15 parks. That's gonna be 17 parks. And again, the 24th park would lie in the interval of the 30 to 39. So in which interval would it fall? The interval of the 30 to 39 trees. Next question. What is the ratio? Ooh, we're going all the way back to first semester. What is the ratio of the number of parks with 20 to 29 trees planted to the number of parks with 30 to 39 trees planted? Okay, so ratio, we write it in the order that they asked. 20 to 29 trees planted to the 30 to 39 trees. So how many 29 trees were planted? 12, there were 12 parks that had 20 to 29 trees planted. And how many parks had 30 to 39? This is going to be nine. So it is a 12 to nine ratio. And remember, we need to simplify our ratio. We could divide both by three, and that's gonna give us a four to three ratio. So the ratio would be four to three. Which means that for every four trees planted, there were three trees planted in the other park. What percentage of the parks had 20 to 29 trees planted? Okay, we know that there were 12, right here, 20 to 29 trees planted. And we know the percents out of 100, but is this showing 100 different parks? No, it's not showing 100 different parks. It's only showing the 48. So this is 12 out of 48. And I need to turn this into a percent. First, I'm gonna simplify. 12 is actually a factor of 48. I can divide both by 12, and that's gonna give me 1 4th. And you should automatically know 1 4th is 25%. All right, last question. What percentage of the parks had 30 to 39 or 40, or 40 to 49 trees planted? Okay, go ahead and answer this question. Come back and check your, your answer. Okay, so we know we need to, this or means that we're going to combine the two. So how many parks had 30 to 39 trees planted? Nine. How many parks had 40 to 49 trees planted? 15. So we need to combine them or add them together and it's going to give us 24. Again, we're looking for percent, so it needs to be out of 100, but because we already did the other problem, we know it's not 100 parks here. There are only 48. So it's 24 out of 48 parks. What percent is this? We know we're gonna have to change that denominator to 100. Sometimes it's much easier to simplify first. And I don't know if you recognize this, but 24 is half of 48, so this really simplifies to 1 half. And we don't even need to do the math here because we know that 1 half is what percent? 50%. Good job. Okay, and now you're ready for your independent practice.